Hello everybody, so it's this amazing deluxe one here and today um, I'm just going to quickly make this video if you keep staring at my eyebrows then okay don't know why but I just thought I would draw on them and yeah, I don't really like it though I don't really like it oh well <clears throat> I don't really like it Ignore any background noise. Um, so I'm just going to make this video and then I'm going to go out for the day. I just want to point out my gorgeous eyeshadow. Like, if I... I just love my eyeshadow, I don't know why. And I'm not as orange today because... I've not overloaded my foundation. I think I've overloaded my eyebrow though. <coughs> Even though I have been doing makeup for quite a few years. About four or five years maybe. But I never really wanted um <coughs> I never really wanted to wear make much. I usually wanted to just wear a tiny bit of mascara. And a little bit of lipstick, but that's all I wanted to wear. Now I'm, as I've got older, I liked it more. I don't know why. I just thought that, oh well, there's no point in wearing it when my face is perfect without it. But now I'm becoming more of a young lady, so I want to wear more of it. That's why I overloaded it yesterday. But I think my eyebrows are pretty good for the first time doing them. Anyway, so. I have got 12, a list of 12 things you, you, your friend or your family can do in any half term holiday. And considering, considering, considering it is um, half term now, so might as well get the ideas. So, one, idea number one, gets tickets to a theme park. Or if your family are on a really low budget and you can't do that, then go up to city centre and look at shops and things like that. Or get a job. <laughs> yeah. Number two, sign up for a national trust me national trust membership. I got a couple of these ideas online and I thought of some of these myself. Number three, visit a free museum, like, yeah, I've done that before, ugh, or you can just go to another country, but if you're on a really, really low budget, and you don't want to spend much money, or your parents don't want to spend much money, then, um, you can just, like, maybe buy some food, and just have, like, and buy craft from maybe hobby craft or buy some crafty things from Poundland sweets and stuff and then just do crafts at home or go out somewhere maybe in the garden or go out to a natural park where kids go and then um, just do crafts and yeah anyway so number four go to the theatre Number five, take a hike in the countryside. Six, go bike riding. I've done most of these. Seven, go go-karting. I've done that. Eight, go to the beach. Nine, go on a picnic. Ten, go to a family fun day. And another thing, that's a really good thing for the summer half time because there's a thing called the Henry Allen fun day, family fun day. Yeah, that's always on. Well, I think it's always on. It's on every year. And I know that because I go to it and I've got a family member that does a lot of the family fun days and fun fairs. So, yeah. Um, And that works and serves food at events and things like that. So, yeah. That's how I know this stuff. <laughs> um, 
11 go to fun fairs and number 12 to visit family um the things i've done out of all these is get tickets to a theme park i've done that i've done that last term for the halloween half term i haven't signed up for a national trust membership because i don't want to do that three i visited a museum about five times now no, ten times probably, you know, I've lost count. Um, go to a theatre, I've done that. Take a hike in the countryside, I've never done that. Why am I reading all of them out? Um, I've also done bike riding, go-karting, the beach, picnic, family fun days, fun fairs and visiting family. And I'm guessing all of you will visit family, but I mean like proper big family gatherings. Um, so I've done one... Two, three, four, no, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've done ten of those things. The thing is, my family are very active. I don't know if that's, yeah, I would say it's the right word, yeah. My family are very active and because some of, some of my family members have good jobs that relate to some of those things, I go and do them. Or just go and hang out with your mates, which is what I always do. Anyway guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. I hope it was helpful to you or your parents. And those activities are for if you're on a low budget or a high budget. My family are on a high budget. Because <laughs> we're always out and doing things. But I always make them, like, we always like to... <coughs> We always like to set off for our activities around 1 or 2 p.m. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, so I'll see you later. Bye.